Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RDA. This is your Manchester United versus Charlton match reaction, and I am dead tired. I'm not gonna lie, but at least uh, United are gonna send me to bed quite quite happy. I'd say you know I'll be honest with you until the the first team subs came on. Not impressed, honestly, not impressed. I said it in the match preview. Uh, even with the rotated squad, we should have won this game three 0 and we did win the game uh, the game three 0 but it did require um, a Marcus Rashford. Brilliant performance yet again, I must say. Like I said, everyone who uh, have been watching the RDA for quite a while now know Rashford. I'm not Rashford's biggest fan. But even I will tell you, Rashford is on absolute fire form right now. In this very moment, he's just scoring goals for fun. Off the bench, starting games. His impact on this current United form cannot be, uh, you know, uh, what's the word? Cannot be... Um, um, I might think you can see how tired I am. But uh, anyways, <laughs> moving uh, moving on from that. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is just Rashford is vitally important to United's form. And I think, uh, especially in the City game, we're going to need it. You know, we need players in form. Do I think we'll beat City? Probably not still, but let us go and try. Why not, hey? Why not? We've been playing very well. We've been winning game after game. We have been in form. Let's go give it our best shot. And maybe we can get a result. And it would be an absolute massive result if we can do it. But that will come, that will come. I'm getting a little bit sidetracked, a little bit too excited for that game. Let's get straight into the player ratings. So do smash a like on the video, do subscribe if you are new. Not going to waste any time with it. Heaton, uh, didn't really have much to do. I'm not going to lie, it's Charlton. They didn't really trouble us that much. So just give Heaton an average 6. The low, oh, the low end of injured. Big concern. Hopefully it's too, nothing too serious. I think it's more precautionary because of how important the low is. He walked off. It looked like he pulled an ag. Like, listen, I'm just going to go straight down the tunnel. Just hopefully it's nothing serious. So touch wood. Yeah, with the low is okay. Um, but we'll have to see. But even then, uh, Wan Vasak has been performing as well. And he's also been in somewhat good form. So uh, not too bad as it, do, as it would probably be back in uh, uh, before the World Cup break. But um, yeah, not ideal. Not ideal. So hopefully he's okay. Harry Maguire, he was... He was Maguire in it. I wasn't really troubled. His uh, long ball distribution wasn't too bad, I guess. But honestly, just give him a 6. It's freaking Charlton. I'm glad he found his level at least. Martinez was very also mediocre as well. Again, I think it's just maybe a little bit of rust or whatever it is. Uh, playing next to Maguire as well. So, you know, how that may affect his game, who knows. But other than that, I thought he was also just okay. Give him a 6. Uh, Malasia gave him a 6 as well, didn't do anything special going forward, didn't have to do anything defensively as well, but just gave him a bang average 6. Scott McTominay, horrible, horrible, horrible passing, was not there, positioning not there, just like, was he even playing today, Scott McTominay? You could argue he wasn't even on the pitch, so I'd probably give him just a 5. Fred, Fred actually was pretty decent, I'm not going to lie, his uh, all-round game, I think, from a midfield player, all-round, his free kick was pretty good. Passing was pretty good. Positioning was good. Tenacity was there, as always, with Fred. Um, yeah, so I think Fred has a performance to be proud of. I'll give him a, I'll give him a 6. It was Charlton, to be fair, like I said. So I'm nothing too crazy, so give him a 6. Anthony, fantastic goal. Other than that, it, I don't know. I'm, uh, he was creative going forward, I guess. He was a little bit of a danger going forward. But other than the goal, he didn't really do much. Uh, a little bit disappointed by Anthony. But I, like I said, the goal was absolutely top, top top draw Anthony classic so I'll give him a seven for that but honestly you could have dominated this game if you really wanted to on another day um Ilanga mm, I don't even know what to say about Ilanga just yeah I just yeah well like what does he offer us Palestri when he came on did more in those last what five minutes than uh, Ilanga has in the last five months you know that's just how it is night and day between the players Ilanga should be sent and low all gets sold he'll never be good enough I think as well, there's just no potential there. There's nothing that he offers really. It's just I, I'm already done with the kid. Let's just move on with life. Let's not waste time. To be honest with you, why do we as United fans have to obsess over a player who just because he, he came out of the academy that we need to uh, back him and things? Now, nah, if you're not good enough to play for Man United, you need to move on. That's just the way I see it. But um, yeah, anyways, just a little bit pissed off with Ilanga. <laughs> but uh, moving on. Oh, who played in? Ma I'm forgetting another kid. Mino, yeah. Um, not much to say about him. I'd say. Um, again, just because he's an academy player, I'm not going to gas him up or anything, but to be honest with you, quite frank, I don't know how other people might view it. I feel like there will be academy bias, as always, with United fans, but I didn't really notice him in the game. I don't really know, can't tell you what he did for me, so I'm just going to give him a, a 5. Didn't really notice him, just okay, I guess. 
Ganacho, he was lively. He was very good. Uh, I thought his decisions going forward was good. Went to cut in. He cut in well. His shots weren't, weren't too bad. Keeper made some good saves. A little bit too greedy at times. So I'll probably give Ganacho a 6. Palestra, when he came on, fantastic decision making. His quick feet. Um, everything was just so sharp. He was so much sharp, raring to go. And I think that's the next. If you want to give an academy player or a youth player a chance, you've got to give Palestri Ilanga's minutes, I think. So um, hopefully we get to see more of that. For me, Ilang, I'm done with Ilanga, like I've said. Give Palestri some minutes. And if he plays like that, happy, happy days. You know, he's got a lot to offer us. Um, so I give probably Palestri a 7. Rashford probably also steals man of the match. 8 out of 10 off the bench, 2 goals. Can't complain like that. So easy man of the match for me. Give it to Marcus Rashford. Why not? Um, but incredible, I must say. Like I said, I'm Rashford's biggest critic, if anything. You know, you see, he highly pissed me off a couple of seasons ago. He just decisions, everything was wrong. But when Rashford does this, happy days. It's just happy days. He's scoring two goals a game, scoring a goal a game. He's absolutely on fire. And long may it continue. I think I've said this in many match reactions now since Rashford's been on form. Long may it continue, you know. Like I said, uh, any player, I might give you criticism, but that's because you probably deserve it. But when you perform, I'll give you uh, the credit where credit's due. You know, you consistently perform. You'll never just win me over one game. Maguire could have had an absolute blind spot. I had to for all I get today. Would never change my opinion over just one game at least. So I'm not like that. But Rashford, to be fair, he's bought himself some credit. And I think rightfully so. I especially like the celebration. I don't know what it technically means. Maybe I, I, I don't know how you guys read it. But I read it as uh, saying that he's focused this year. And that, you know, just keeping his mind sharp. That's what I read into celebration. And I like it. I like it. Oh, long may it continue, like I say. But, um, yeah. Ten Hag, give him a six. <laughs> it's Charlton. Yeah, it was okay. Nothing more to say about that. He has been having good performances regardless. And like I said, as a manager, from a manager's point of view, he rotated the squad. You won, win the semifinals. Bang, bang, bang. Tick, tick, tick. Let's go. But, um, yeah. A six until those subs came on. Um, but other than that, nothing else much to say. Next game, City. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it, don't get me wrong. But I'm not looking forward to the beating we can get dished, you know. This could very much be showing certain United fans, like, listen, all your talk, all your hyping up this team. Yeah, back to reality. Yeah, there are levels to this game. And you are just nowhere near that level yet, you know. So, um, I think that's what will come. But I'll save that for the Man City preview. Um, if you are if you are looking forward to that, do subscribe as always to smash a like on the video. Like I said, I am so tired. It is so late here. I've stayed up all night waiting for that game. But um, yeah, I shall see you all very soon. Have a good evening and enjoy the rest of your day. Um, take you all very soon. Goodbye.